subjects like commerce, like uh, you know, economics, because of the call from the president. The president wants to see uh, the next generation of youth be able to trade with countries like China and Africa. So there have been an interest in, in economics and, and, and commerce, but also other issues, other subjects in, in, in social sciences, yes. Most young people right now in Tanzania are looking towards solving problems that are existing digitally. So the majors are electrical engineering, electronics engineering and software, software engineering. Most people are learning that so that they can cope up with the new technologies. In Australia, some of the most popular majors are in tech, uh, business and commerce and law. Um, tech is a very interesting one, particularly because the startup ecosystem in Australia is growing. Um, we're seeing that there are rapid innovations and the I guess it's a really exciting time when, when we look at you know, the potential for deep tech to change the world, agri-tech and ed-tech. Something related to IT, because these days uh, like everything is related to technology, so many people in my country, they are very interested in taking uh, the technology related majors. Our parents, or my parents specifically, they would favour classic sort of traditional undergrad programs like law or engineering. I think now it has changed a lot in Brazil. We've seen loads and loads of creative uh, industry and, and, and degrees that are based essentially on tech or creativity and, and creative industry as well. I think that's very strong nowadays in Brazil. Difficult to say, but generally it's engineering and doctor. It's the preferred one. Parents say this because they feel like it's somewhere uh, they have a sense of security. They feel like that they will never be out of job. That's why they ask every kid to be a doctor or engineer. I think uh, Bank uh, Revisor has the most salaries, most huge salaries in our country. I would say uh, probably the biotech sectors, so like pharmaceutical uh, and also the legal sectors as well, such, such as law. Um, those tend to be high paying jobs because they require lots of uh, brain power. Oh, definitely IT. Um, you know, if you look at the average you know, IT graduate, they can earn anywhere from like 100k on the first job compared to you know, your average salary of 50k in Australia. I would say banking. Yes, accountants, they do well. They are the guys that will manage all the finances. They will tell you what is, what is up and what is down and easily you are attracted to their services and easily you pay them. I like to work in towns because uh, in big towns it's more challenging. Uh, it's more meeting new people, getting challenged with what I know and it's easy to upgrade because every time to survive in a big city, you need to keep up with the existing methodologies and things that are going on. The young people are interested in digital technology. I can give you the statistic of 2022, which are the major uh, factor that generate GDP for Nigeria is digital economy. You know, you know Nigeria is an oil producing country, but in 2022, the digital technology contributed much more.